What is going on guys, we are here with ulti playoffs, we got Georgie vs Blunder And it's really late at night, I already recorded a lot of games, I hope I can still bring a good commentary So he's obviously gonna switch here on turn 1 on the tornado, so I would go for knockoff here if I'm Blunder Get rid of an item early on, zap those lefties Would be nice to get rid of, Georgie has this stall here with Muck um, I feel like he has a Muck because it helps him with the Hooper and with the Lele matchup Now that Dougie is gone so he gets the Hurricane Confusion and he makes a risky play early on going into Lando and he gets it correct. Uh, Blunder's not gonna stay in here obviously, he's probably gonna go T-Tar. Yeah, there's a Bantar, that is his main way of, for Blunder to break uh, Georgie's team. Blunder has an Auroth looking team, but yeah he already gets it. oh man. He already gets this Volcanion Toxic there. Um, he's obviously gonna break the chance, he double back in the T-Tar, nice play, and he has to go for Stone Edge here. Georgie's only Stone Edge switching is like Skarmory. He goes on the cleft, I think expecting a crunch, and he takes 64. Um, he's gonna protect now to stall out the Stone Edge PP, I assume. Blana doesn't wanna waste the Stone Edge PP, that is actually smart because he needs them. Um, so he goes for Taunt, and... Already, he already attacked earlier and we see, uh, we saw he didn't have life orb, so this is taunt and it's not life orb, so that's also not IV of because of taunt, so it's most likely Z move on torn. Gets rid of the lefties on cleft, which is something at least. Um, he might knock off again expecting the Zapdos, that's what he did, and George predicted that. Expecting Blender to not go for the taunt, gets up the wish now. Um, George can throw up a Moonblast here. Um... <laughs> So Blunder's probably gonna U-turn out, and that depends if Georgie stays in or not. So <laughs> Blunder is an Auras looking team, with ones that you don't see often like Superior and Volcanion. Um, that is most likely a Defox Scizor uh, on Blunder's team because he has to get rid of rocks for his Torn and for his Volcanion. And it should be a, obviously a Rocks Lando since the T-Jar is banded. And most likely a Subseed Superior. And does he, does he not have a Scarfer? I think he doesn't have a Scarfer unless he Scarf Rocks Lando. The Volcano already showed lefties if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. Um, that was really risky of Georgie. Um, I feel like Skystrike might have blown his Clefab away, but I guess it's it's kind of obvious that he wasn't gonna go for Skystrike when this, when his Zapdos is in the back and his Zapdos is still somewhat healthy. So he got a special attack draw that's really annoying. I don't know why Venusaur is his Tornado's counter. I guess he thinks because of that special attack draw, the Venusaur waltz. The Blanche just turns out. I feel like Skystrike would have bopped the Venusaur there, and it was really risky on Georgie's part staying in. But yeah, like I said already, he has a Zapdos in the back, so it makes sense that Blunder didn't go for the Z-move yet. Um, well, there's the rocks, or there are the rocks. He's gonna defog them away immediately, there's a double defog, so rocks should ne rocks are probably never gonna go up. His chance is really obvious here, so double back in the Tita is pretty obvious. And he does do that, nice play. And he's just gonna have to hit his stone edges. And Georgie's only switching his Discovery. And if Blunder just gets one nice crit or like keeps getting high rolls and doesn't miss his stone edges, then he could get rid of the Skarmory. I think he might need a crit. Like either he needs a crit or he needs two max rolls. I think it does between 45 and like 53, something like that. Stone edge to, to Skarm. He gets a crit on a chance. That kind of sucks for Georgie. Uh, so he was just scouting with Blana locks himself into nice chance he's weak he's obviously not gonna stay in, he wants this chance for the Volcanion, he has to go scum here. So yeah, if, if he got scum first then he would have gone crit, he actually would have gone to it KO'd as well. So now he just has to go scum and hope that he doesn't get crit again. And does that, oh, that was a lower roll. Like, I'm ruining a bit for Blunder but since he has Oh, that, that, that was a high roll, but it, didn't, it wasn't enough. Since Georgie brought Stall, I'm rooting a bit more for Blunder. Like, I would root for Blunder anyways. But if you bring Stall, I'm rooting like, a, a bit more even for the opponent, at least in this match. Um, 
Yeah, he's gonna roost again here, obviously. The guy doesn't wanna waste all his edges, edges, cause he, he also know that he's gonna miss eventually. He can double back, expecting the chance. Let's see if it worked out. He went to Mark this time. That was a nice mid ground play, because every Mark can take a hit from Volcanion. And as you guys can see, it checks the ban since it has brick break, uh, brick break. I think Blunder didn't expect that. <laughs> I think he just expected him to switch or something. I don't know. At least he got a defense drop on the crunch, so the mark is super low. But the Blunder's main break is dead now. So his last way of putting some work is the the torn. Superior is not gonna do much when there's a Venusaur. So U turns here. Um, the what? V okay, Serb. So he's gonna go into Vino here because he doesn't want to get leech shields. Blana can break that on Leaf Storm, but it doesn't really matter because even at plus two, Venusaur still eats every hit. Venusaur is forced to go for Sludge Bomb. Blana can go into his Scissor here, but to be fair, it doesn't really matter. Now his team kind of just gets walled. Um, he has to like knock off the Zap and like confuse the Zap does with his Torn. That's like his win con at this point. So yeah, he can go for knock off here. Getting rid of the zap does lefties. Yup. And Blana might go for taunt, expecting Georgie to roost, but if Georgie predicts that Blana's in a bad position. Georgie goes for him but eyes. Okay, so Torn is still alive. U turns out probably into Lando expecting a discharge. Or he goes on the Serp. Okay, that's the Empower Eyes again. So Georgie expected the Lando. Okay. So he's just gonna go back to Venusaur here. Double into Torn would have been a fire play there. And then try to get the hurricane confusion or like hmm. So he goes for sub, but he's just gonna sludge. Um I can see him going for HP fire here, trying to catch the scissor, but he doesn't have a reason to make that play. Okay, he just plays it safe. And Blunder's probably gonna pivot. Oh he's faster, okay. So it's a slow Vino. Fat Vino near max defense, I assume. If he gets a poison here, that would suck. Um into Maki goes to sack it off. Smart play because as Zabdos was kinda weakened already. Now he goes Zabdos. And if Blana taunts again here and he gets caught on the taunt and the discharge, this game is over. If he does discharge and Blunder is pretty much done now. As he just forfeits. And yeah, we're gonna pause and be right back with game two. And oh man. Blunder keeps facing stall. Versus Finch, he actually should have won. Uh, when Finch had stall, but he kinda got unlucky with the cursed body. Like his the chance he had cursed body because of skill swap and then more while his player got cursed body. Yeah, let me pause it real quick and be right back with uh, game two. Okay, here we are with game two, and Blunder brought this team this um, some balance. I've used this, uh, I've seen this used before in the Snake draft. Um, by the way, talking about Snake, I have a like 12 games recorded from Snake from the last days. Um, that's also why I'm super tired right now because I recorded like six Snake games today. So that will be coming then over the next days for you guys. I know some of the games might be a bit outdated by then, but. I still wanted to bring you guys the content, and yeah, it's gonna be cool. So I can tell you guys the sets, the Scarf, Nihiligo, SD, Kartana, Z-Move. Um, I actually don't know the entire Medicham set, but I'm pretty sure it has Zen Hut, but he just protects there, expecting the fake out. Um, this is Rox, a uh, Clefable with Core Mines, so Blana's gonna get up the rocks, but the rocks are not gonna stay up because he has double defog. The only way to like pressure this double defog core is if you had Toxic for the Zapdos, but even then, Georgie probably still has Healable on his Clef. So he goes for rocks and then he goes for whirlwind. Um, if this has toxic and the gastron gets toxic, that would suck for blunder. But Georgie just goes for default, okay? Um, so the rocks are gonna go back up here. Mm -mm -mm. I can see Georgie going into the Zapdos to waste more rock PP, but he goes in the muck, okay? Calm mines. And Georgie's gonna poison jab here. As the rocks go back up, and you guys can see that's max defense. Obviously, that's like the most common cluff set anyway at the moment, and it eats it up. So Georgie might might go for a knockoff. You try to get rid of the lefties on the cliff. As Blunder says, no. Goes in the katana that would have covered the knockoff, but yeah, he goes into Zapdos. Zapdos uh, obviously wants katana, so there's a free defog. As Blunder is forced out. So now the double into Medicham is a possibility for Blunder here trying to catch the Chansey. So doubles into Medicham trying to catch the Chansey and Georgie predicts that and goes for Discharge. Thankfully he doesn't get the para because this Medicham is really important for Blunder to win this game. But a really nice aggressive play from Georgie there. Good lord. Um, so Blunder might try to get a burn here but it's actually smart to switch out uh, because he doesn't know if this... Yeah exactly this guy is toxic. 
I don't know if he knew that already. I think he didn't. So now he expects a defog and stays in and gets toxic, which kind of sucks. At least he gets a burn on the Skarmory, but yeah, Georgie can defog now. And Blunder can only scold and do some chip to this. And if he has off power, that would be fire if he goes for it here on Roost. But if he has off quick, it doesn't matter because Skarmory is fist dev and he can eat off quick up with ease. Uh, we know it's fist dev from the last game, but a banter. Uh, from the banter damage with Stone Edge. So you can, can just keep roosting, but not forced out here, obviously. I really expect the Zapdos, because Zapdos has pressure to, like, stall the, the rocks PP, but like, for some reason he doesn't go to Zapdos. He just defogs again, he's gonna calm it up here. So he can rocks up back again here. The Zapdos doesn't have Diva for some reason. No, it, it already showed Diva, right? Yeah. Then Blunder could keep rocks up if the Zapdos didn't have Diva. Yet, yeah, obviously has Diva. Any damage on the Sclafable is okay for Blunder. I like. I would. I should say nice. Um, because the Sclafable is what stops many Chim from getting a kill every time it comes in. Um, Heal Bells away the the burn on the Skarmory. Commoning up doesn't really matter, this is an unaware clef. You can also go to his Venusaur and then synthesis up and some sludge from a bit. And then after Blunder used up some PP, he can just go back into unaware clef. So like this clef is not a big deal for Georgie. At least he gets a special attack drop, so sludge bomb is not gonna do anything to this. So Georgie might just go back into his clef. I guess Chansey, okay. So now Georgie's gonna softball slash go for his rocks. Um, I don't really... I mean, he goes for his rocks, but to be honest, he should focus on defogging rocks away. And on keeping his mons healthy at the moment. Um, it was an okay playoff, but like, I would've just... I would just focus on keeping rocks off on my side. Because rocks don't do that much to Bluna's team. Um, Nihiligo, Kartana, Medichem, and... Gastron all resist rocks. Cathabel doesn't care about rocks because of magic guard. The only one that you damage to with rocks is the Celesteela. He goes in the Skarmory and the Medicham shows it has Drain Punch. So we do find out it's Rocky Helm Skarmory. That's really interesting. I don't know why it's not Shed Shell. I feel like Shed Shell Skarm should be the only set on stall. Otherwise he lose to Pinsipal's Magnus Zone, stuff like that. I mean, he doesn't lose to Pinsipal's Zone because he also has a Zapdos. But it, just in general, um, people like to pair... Magnuson with a knockoff user, and then your Skarmory gets fucked up anyways. But if they don't do that, then you should at least have a Shad Shell, like... Like, I get he has a Zapdos, so he doesn't lose to pin his zone, but zone wins to trap his Skarmory anyway. And, like, that might... Then he loses one of his defaults. That's, and Skarm... Like, losing Skarm would, could mean that he would be weak to some, weaker to something like Banta, as we have seen in the first game. So, he sees that headbutt, I think this is a roll to kill, so Blund Blunder's most likely not gonna risk this. So if Georgie breaks his switch out, he can go for Wishy because he needs his Clefable healthy. He might also just go for Moonblast, um, expecting Banner to stay in. He does just do that, he gets more lefties. He can go for Protect to get another round of lefties with his Clefable. Um, Blunder's most likely gonna go for like... Heavy, uh, not heavy slam for like flames or leech sheet because I think he wants to like keep his heavy slam PP. The protect is really obvious here. But the Georgie let his Skarmory go, um, kind of low, and rocks are also up. He should try to get rid of the rocks ASAP because if that's uh, that's SD Cartana, I'm gonna say not if I know it's SD Cartana, I've seen his team used so that this could be a problem for Georgie. Um. So Zapdos and Skarm both go too low, then his other only way to check Kartana is um, the Venus Thor. So uh, Georgie's not gonna stay in here. I assume he's gonna go Venus Thor to block a leech seed. He, goes, okay, he just goes Zapdos. And he dodges a leech seed, and that kinda sucks. Uh, the waste two leech seed PP. Because of the pressure ability, I would just defog here because I don't see rocks doing too much. Oh, I said I said Nihiligo resist rocks earlier. Nihiligo is neutral to rocks. That was my bad. <laughs> Some of you guys have probably it's already jumped up and it's like, oh, what are you saying? Nihiligo is not resisted 
resistant to rocks. Okay, I'm not the biggest fan that he didn't defog. Katana can become a threat, like what? Yeah, he roosted with Zapdos, but you have to keep taking rocks. Skarmory is low. If Katana SDs up, it might become a problem. He doubles out, and that was a nice play. Katana's obviously um, scared of here by Hidden Power Fire. He goes for Earthquake, um, potentially anticipating um, Blana to switch into an Hiligo and the Hidden Power Fire. That's why he went for Earthquake. Blana's trying to get a burn on the Venusaur, so Blana's most likely just gonna go for Protect here. He goes for Synthesis, expecting that, but he kind of wasted the Synthesis PP there. And the. I'm not the biggest fan that Georgie didn't default of, like of that play like was. Like if you stall, you, like there's some matchups where rocks are nice, but in this case, rocks don't hurt your opponent enough for where it's worth it to keep rocks on both sides. You should just keep rocks off of your side and don't care about rocks on the other side. So he's gonna stretch bomb here. Nice prediction on Blunder's part. He's gonna protect. He got some more lefties. So this Venusaur revealed Hidden Power, Fire, Synthesis, Slash Home and Earthquake, which means it's walled by Gastron. That's really interesting. So Blunder can go to Gastron and try to Scald Burn the Venusaur. He does not get the burn, unfortunate, and Blunder's forced to synth uh, not Synthesis recover here. Georgie used up another uh, Synthesis. I think he already used two or three Synthesis. Chansey goes. Um, so if he hits this Chansey here, that means Celestia gets a leech seed off and it's back to almost full. Oh, nice. And yeah, I'm not sure why he's not going to Zapdos to defog the rocks away. Now he's going to Zapdos. Is he going to defog? But it just goes for heavy slam, gets a crit. And I would still just defog the rocks away because. um. Like you want to check the med the, the medi with the clef, so like keeping rocks off isn't important. And also, if you let you zap, he didn't even roost. Now he's forced out. Like what? Katana, he can can become a threat. What is he doing? Why do you need defog? So he goes on the Katana. He expecting a poison jab slash knockoff. Gets the play correct. Now he gets to SD up. This is what I'm talking about. Zap this is weakened and Skarmory is weakened. So the right Katana set is really scary now. Not sure why he didn't defog. Um, Brick Break does pitiful damage, so if Blunder SDs again and has the correct set, um, this Katana might just win the game. <clears throat> he goes for Sacred Sword, so... I don't th know if that, that might mean that he doesn't have Smart Strike or he expected Georgie to pivot into Skarmory. Since the Skarmory has Rocky Helmet, um, he didn't want to like uh, go for Smart Strike and then have to go for Brick Break and then I think yeah, he would take another round of Helmet. But if he had Smart Strike, he might should have gone for it, I think. Or he could have gone for SD again, either or would have worked. Because if you SD on a Skarm Switch, then you kill it anyway with a Sacred Sword, I think, because Skarm is low, right? It might already be in range from plus two, um, but like, I don't really understand why he didn't SD again. Um, unless he doesn't have smart strike. If he doesn't have smart strike, that if he only has sacred sword SD, a uh, leaf blade. What was his last move? Be defog katana, defog SD. Not sure. But if he's lagging Smart Strike, um, he cannot kill Venusaur. But other than that, um, since he didn't defog, um, Zapdos and Skarmory bo are both low and get blown away. Um, especially Zapdos. Skarmory was low anyway, but especially Zapdos is low since he didn't defog. Look, this is Helmet, this is Helmet Skarmory, but like, Z moves don't make contact, so he can just go for Z move here and kill the Skarmory and then. He's at plus four, and yeah, he didn't even scout for it. Or like, I mean, it's not like he had to switch into that. But now he could have gone on a cliff. So now Georgie just loses to this unless it doesn't have smart strike. 
So the only player is going Vino and hoping that it doesn't have small strike. But I would love to know what the move is on this katana. The last move. Am I missing something? Because I guess yeah he doesn't have any other hazard control, so I guess it could be defog. Um Spikes could be annoying for Blunder's team. Since he has four grounded Pokemon. Like he has five, but Clever's Magic Guard, the other four ones are affected by Spikes. So I can actually see that. That his last move is defog instead of smart threat because he just goes for second sword and his katana dies. Damn, he just wonder if he had smart strike. Um Venusaur probably would have died to that, yeah. Yeah. So he goes for Zen Headbutt here. I think he's gonna sack Zapdos. And then go to Clef. Um, the reason why he, Hmm, I'm not sure. If he sacks this then, and T-Spikes go up, that might be a problem for Georgie. I know, a, I know Zapdos has Defog, but if Blunder plays the ball, Zapdos is not gonna get a Defog off. So yeah, he keeps the Venusaur to absorb T-Spikes. This means the rocks... Like he keeps it around to absorb T spikes later on in case they go up. But this means the rocks are there to stay. And yeah, I can see Georgie going for wish. Yeah, expecting a switch. Because last time also Blunder didn't want to risk the roll. This Medicham literally wins later for him if he plays it smart and doesn't just risk it here. So it's always the Blunder's not gonna stay in. And yeah, he kinda has to protect it to keep his fable healthy. Uh, maybe I think Georgie could have been in a better position if he just kept Brock's off. But oh well. Blunder has a chance to win now, or like he should win with um Medicham. Gets a kill when it comes in on the on the when I, I almost said Clive, I'm on the Gen Z. <laughs> if he doesn't protect here yeah, Clefable um cannot really deal with Medicham, so I think he should go for protect. If he decides to not heal, okay, so manage him is a really big threat. <laughs> Fable is at I think four I think at fifty after rocks, something like that. And Blunder can just try to burn this Venus up with a flamethrower. Um Georgie eventually has to go for synthesis again. So this is fine for Blunder, just wasting synthesis and wasting some PP from the steel uh, from the Vino. George is just gonna go for Hidden Power Fire and the Synthesis, I assume. I don't know why it's taking so long. Um, I guess he's trying to figure out how to deal with the Medicham, but... He's gonna have a tough time with that. He just went for Synthesis. I feel like he could've gone for Hidden Power Fire first. Blunder predicts him there really nicely. I feel like Blunder's gonna start going for Flamethrower since he wants the Heavy Slam PP to do more damage to Local Fable and he wants to try to get a burn on the Venusaur. Yep. Um, what else? Uh, uh, um. I don't know why he's using Synthesis when he's not below half. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Goes for Slush Bomb there. Why? I guess, now nah, he predicted to protect, but, yeah, okay. He gets a crit, that sucks. Snardus, so let's see that is lower and lower, but he's gonna synthesis here again, and he's kinda wasting most of his synthesis. Damn, why do you protect there? Yeah, he predicted him to attack, obviously, but that was kinda obvious that he was gonna synthesis there, right? Oh, well. He goes in the Gastrodon and he can try to go for Skull Burn once again. Um, yeah, Georgie's Clef is unaware, so it gets affected by rocks and by burn. So if he gets a burn here, that would be nice for Blunder. Um, he's gonna go for Wishy, obviously, with the Clef to get his health back. There's the Celesteela. Now he's gonna. Why, why did he move last? Why is he not wishing? Like, does he not want health on his Clef? Uh, he's gonna protect to get some lefties here. But now, if he stays in on a Heavy Slam, Bonnet's Heavy Slam is pretty free here to click. Um, like, he can go for Heavy Slam freely. 
because this Venus uh, synthesis, uh, like Venus synth are uh, running out. So even if he goes, Vino, who does who cares about that? Like now he's a local fable if he doesn't protect the end. Like, like what? Yeah, looking like a win for blunder. Nice. But I'm not gonna have you slam again here, I assume. And yeah, since the synthesis is somewhat obvious here. Yeah. Damn, I thought he wouldn't attack again pretty in synthesis, but yeah, nice play on Blunder's part. Protecting. Ooh, he gets him there. Now he gets more health on his health. Yeah, now he can protect. Ooh, he actually played that fire, but he didn't protect for some reason. Um, so yeah, I would just keep attacking. Um, it depends if the set is. Um, oh, he gets another crit. Damn. It depends if the Vino has uh, synthesis left, but I think he's almost out of synthesis. He might have like one left. Yeah, I mean, you can say it doesn't really matter. Medigem gets a kill after if his Celestia dies here. Nihiligo also looking like a problem if this Venus Orchid goes down because he can get our T-Spike. So Georgie definitely has to save this. Uh, if he has Synthesis left, he's definitely going to go for that here. And um, Blunder can predict that and attack him. Yeah, yeah, I will definitely attack here. Expecting the Synths to come out. Would be a fire play. But yeah, the other, the other, the last series that is left is Sijuma vs Vertex. I think it's tomorrow the game. Uh, by the time this video will go up, the series might have already been played. Since I've bad nets sometimes and I can't guarantee when my um, videos go up, or, like the series that are recorded. So yeah, Blunder played it really nicely. Could get some more lefties on his cell stealer, so now he's out of, he doesn't die to rocks now. And he can fish for skull burns again, and this Clefable is going to be forced to wish again, and eventually the Clefable runs out of wishes. But for some reason, Blah never gets a burn. Um, quite unlucky. But yeah, um... He can go for Sludge Bomb or Toxic Spice. He gets up a Teeth Spike. Um, so Georgie can wish here and pass it into uh, Venusaur. To absorb the Teeth Spike. I mean, they're up for now, but Avino is gonna absorb them. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure if Georgie could have won this game, but he definitely could have kept Rocks off, and like, Katana wouldn't have done as much damage as it did to his team. I don't know what Georgie's waiting for, click Wish already. Or was it Blunder taking the time? Not sure. He went hard chance, he's not sure why, because he gets poison and everything. Basically what happened, I got interrupted real quick. Um, he revealed Wish Chansey, and he wished passed into the Venusaur. So I think he doesn't have Toxic on his Chansey. But yeah, you guys didn't miss too too much. His Chansey got poisoned by the, the T-Spikes, and then he wished passed into Venusaur to absorb them. Good god, my phone just fucking gave me a heart attack. <laughs> it was so loud, that ringing sound. Should put that on lower for next time. Um, but yeah. But I should have this game pretty much, it's just a matter of time. And uh, I mean, his Medigem still has to hit. Ah, nice, he says he has back healthy. Medigem still has to hit his own head, but of course, later on. Heavy slam here. Okay, Flamethrower trying to get the burn, okay. Venusaur, I think, is out of synthesis at this point and has to uh, get Wish Pass from Chansey and Clef. Interesting concept, double Wish Pass. Earthquake's trying to catch Nihiligo, I think, or the Gast or, or trying to do more damage to the Gastrodon, not sure. There's the Gastrodon. Blunder can still try to get a burn here, but he's been really unlucky with the Scalds. I think he got one burn earlier with the Skarmory, but that's pretty much it. Wish Pass in the Vino again, but he cannot keep doing this forever, and if his Clef runs out of wishes, 
Uh, it has to keep taking rocks, and eventually Medicham is gonna fuck him up. Um, yeah. And this Vino also doesn't beat the cliff. He's just wasting a sludge bomb PP now. Um, so understandable that Blunder is doing this, but yeah. I feel like Georgie is eventually gonna switch out into his chance to go for s some softball hit and some wish pass with Chanty into Clef. Um, yeah, I really hope we don't see Stall again in the next game. So Chansey can take two Moonblasts, as you guys can see. And he can go for a softball here. Medicham is in. And yeah, then Hepper probably doesn't even kill knowing Chansey's fat ass. Um, but Drainbunch should kill, right? If Drain Punch is a roll, I know Blunder's not gonna risk it and he's gonna go for HJK, but like, ooh, that was risky, man. I'm like really surprised that he didn't go for Drain. Does, was that a roll? <laughs> so yeah, uh, maybe he's forced out here. He can go for Moonblast or Wish, yeah. Blunder goes his own clef. Blunder can try to comment up again or just... Yeah, he's just wasting some PP at this point, but... Nihiligo is also super scary for Georgie now that the cafe, uh, the chance is dead. So you can softball here. My computer decides to lag. Yeah, I recorded like 10 games for you guys today. Like I said earlier, you're gonna be coming next day. So my computer, my computer is like kind of dead. He's just, he's like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to <laughs> be on anymore. I've been on for hours. <laughs> Give me a break. But yeah, thankfully the lag is gone. Um, the free heavy slam. I mean, if he passes this in the Venusaur, that means his Clefable is low and he gets fucked up by Medicham. Leech is there. Maybe he was out of heavy slams. Wait, did he? Did Georgie crit him again? How do all of your moves crit when you use stall? Maybe this is the way to go. <laughs> okay, I was a bit behind. They're playing super fast right now. That's why I didn't see the crit turn yet. There's the crit of the head with the hidden power fire on the set of Sadila. He's just trying to get a burn with Flamethrower, but nope. The game says no. But yeah, this is a winning game for Blunder anyway. He can either go to his own clef and softball up, or he can uh, try to get a burn. He goes in the go, okay? And at this point, if he goes for T-Spikes here, that's a nice play because then if... Oh, he goes for Sludge Bomb. Okay, okay. If he went for T-Spikes there, um, the, the, the Venus would have been in and they couldn't absorb them. And then when he goes back to Clef, he gets poisoned. And then he would have to waste a uh, Heal Bell and go for Wish and pivot back into Venus to absorb them. But I don't think it matters too much. He just has to hit his Zen Headbutt later on the Venus and then he wins anyway. And yeah. And he's obviously not going to stay in with the um, Nihiligo. He's just gonna recover with his Gastron. Uh, it's a really funny Venus overall by Gastron. If this wasn't poisoned, man, you could spam Scald and fish for burn so often. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna get a game 3, but we don't know yet. He could still, like, miss all his moves with Mei or something. Can he, can he get a burn? No, no luck. So Georgie's gonna wish again if he has PP left. He should, he should still have some wishes left. Any Moonblast and kills off the Steeler. Okay, okay. So I guess he predicted Blunt to stay in. And doesn't Nihiligo just win now? I mean, he can protect here to scout, but the Nihiligo locks itself into. But I think the Venusaur is not healthy enough to take two sludge bombs. The only way the Venusaur could take two sludge bombs if was if Georgie had a wish in the air and then passes the wish to the Venu, but he cannot do that because Sludge Bomb would kill the Clefable. So Venu gets to it kill and Clef dies. So he cannot harden the Venu. And if he lets Clef die then he also loses obviously. The Venusaur would get PB stalled between uh Gast or Clef. So even so the Blunder wouldn't even have to hit his headbutt anymore at that point. Oh, nice. So, yeah, I guess this game is over. We're gonna see in game three. 
Hopefully Blender can pull through there and hopefully no more stall. Like what is he gonna try to do? Is he gonna try to like protect or something? It doesn't save him anymore. He needs like a lot of protection in a row. <laughs> To live a sludge bomb. And even then, if he, if he gets like a triple protect, maybe he can live a sludge bomb and then wish a new Vino, but even then, he should still lose to, um, like his Vino would still get PP stall and stuff, and yeah. I don't know why he's taking so long. Hey, maybe we're running some cogs, but like. <laughs> Maybe he calculated how many protects he needs to level sludge bomb, but yeah, he doesn't get a double protect, he dies, and the game is over. And yeah, we'll be back with game 3, I'm gonna pause it real quick, this Venus dies to plus 1 sludge bomb. I'm gonna pick up the win, 1-1. One, one. Now the next game is gonna decide who stays in ulti uh, for round 4. The the loser's bracket variation, variant, I don't know why I call it like that, but yeah, let me pause it real quick. We are back with game 3, thankfully no stall, we see some offense. Blunder has some balanced looking team. This actually looks like a team that uh, CL brought versus Blunder last week, but it had uh, like a uh, Chansey instead of it had Chansey over Ferrothorn, so it looked a bit more disgusting. But yeah, Georgie has a Mega Hera squad. I would send Teeter uh, for the drill. Is it Smooth Rock? Could still be Bandit, but Smooth Rock makes sense as well. Um, so the Zygarde is looking like a threat. DT Zygarde, yeah. Like, I don't know his set yet, but it could be Bennett. It's either Rocks Lando or Rocks Clef. I assume Rocks Clef. Mm -mm -mm. Bruno doesn't have Hazard Control, but. Georgie only has Rocks, he doesn't have Spikes, so that should be fine. But Jonah can actually win this game with the correct set. Like, um, Bolt Beam, All Out Pummeling. Would mean, um, yeah, like if he has like Gigabolt Havoc, he could blow away Celestila. If he had all of Pummeling, he could blow away the Ferrothorn. So, like, if he doesn't have all of Pummeling, then he obviously has to beat the Ferrothorn first. But if he has the Bolt Beam coverage, hits this, these entire all these mons and comment. Um, oh my god, he gets that crit turn one on the fucking Pharaoh. Ah, so it, it continues. Um, is that I think that's Bags Lily, is it? There was a Scarf Lander from uh, from Blunder's side, he U-turn out turn 1. Um, so it's most likely Rock's Clef then, <laughs> okay. Um, so I can see Blunder going for Leech Seed or for Hazards, he goes for Power Whip, okay. And he's gonna go to Clefable here, slash Toxapex, probably Clefable. Because they run mixed defense. He goes Zygarde, right? That's really surprising. I think he predicted a Rock Blast. So the play actually makes sense. And if he's Bennett out with, she can scare this out with that. Or with like a Z move or something. Doubles out in the Clefable. I yeah, see. Ooh, okay. So he was trying to get the Clefable in on like a pin missile or like a close combat. Georgie predicts that. Gets another crit with one of the five Rock Blasts. But uh, this Clef still lives. He can. Uh, I think he moon blasts. Okay, soft bullets. I mean, it doesn't make a big difference. He's only healing a, like a little bit of health. And the specs Lily is back in. It's probably forced. Okay, he just stays in and dies. Damn, that's crazy. Specs Lily is a stupid Pokemon. If you don't have a Jirachi, like, what are you gonna switch in? And even Jirachi, if they're unshadowable, is not even the best counter. But yeah, it's like one of the best counters because I don't think they're unshadowable at the moment. Should have brought this game too instead of fucking around. <laughs> Damn! You always get fucked by stalls, so why not press my luck? It's crazy. Yeah, like, if I was blonde, I would be super pissed already. This guy brings stall first, twice, then he crits you, and. Oof, thankfully, doesn't flinch there. Um, probably would have lead sheeted if I was Blunder because I um, think health and Celestia is really important. 
like on turn 9 where he went for heavy slam, I would have gone for lead sheet there. But uh, he can go for like okay, yeah, either teeth bite or try to get a burn. And yeah, Lele kinda gets a kill every time it comes in. Especially because of that stupid crit earlier on. And yeah, he can he still needs health on Celestealer. So he cannot really bring that in. If he leeched, he would have been a bit more healthy, but I don't think it makes the big biggest difference. So he gets a leech seed here. Look at that fucking damage! Is that modder specs? That was actually a smarter play going for Heavy Slam that ca in that case. But good god, so, Lady is such a stupid Pokemon, like what? Hey, so this is probably more fits than Celestia, but still, those, this damage is unreal. See, that's the that's the T-Bolt Majorna, and he gets a para- like, can, can he stop hexing? Good god, so there's a shift gear. There's the para, good god, come on. So Blunder's gonna heave or recover here. Um, he could also go into Landers, it's a bit risky, but... Now, I would just expect him to calm it up. And I would go for Haze here. He goes for Ice and trying to catch the Landers, he goes for recover, okay. Um, he goes for t there, there. Um, Blunder's gonna try to Skull Burn him or Haze first, yeah, Haze first. He goes for Shift Gear again. That para is really fucking annoying because he can try to like fish for paras and set up on this or like if he gets paras he dies to T-Bolt eventually. Just gonna recover again here. And another para, okay. Goes back into Landris. <laughs> oh I says what uh, not even back, but goes into Landris on the Gigavolt Havoc, so Blunder looks like a complete god there. Um, if he predicted that, he's a complete overlord. I think he predicted just a T-Bolt. So we, we see it's Gigavolt having Magirna, so if he gets a Skull Burn on this, that would be amazing for Blunder. Blunder's playing like um, a bit risky now, but he's forced to play risky because he got lucked. Uh, because his Pex is paralyzed. That definitely sucks. And there's another para, so Georgie is getting quite lucky. Back into Landris, breaking the T-Bolt. God, how does he do it? But it's looking bad for Blunder. Um, that Specs Lily already weakened this team so much. And now his Pex is paralyzed, even if this Majorna doesn't win. Like, if he just go, uh, or ever goes for Ice Beam on the Landris switch, then Blunder's completely fucked. But also, if he um, later comes in with Ash Grin. Um, like he has to spin before he can do that, but then he can try to flinch the pack since it's para, para flinch is like a higher chance. Damn, Blonda gets him every turn. It's crazy. And he's still in a shitty position. <laughs> Even though he's getting him every turn. Look, like if he gets a burn, it would be some nice justice, but <sighs> this Pokemon doesn't know what justice is. And he stays in expecting the Ice Beam Fireplace. Fireplace. Oh, he said, fuck you, got me. I think we have like a few turns behind. Blunna just got lost something, like he lost his Lando, or his pecs. Uh, I got, uh, the, the turns we see here live on the screen, Blunder's still still playing him every single turn. If he would get a burn it would be nice, but of course, of course not. Okay, there he catches him on turn 40. I don't even want to watch this anymore, like if, if I was Blunder I would be so frustrated. Like, oh, good god. Like, first you get stall tries, so like you're already annoyed, and then he gets this para and that shit. Ooh, that was a nice one, staying on the ice beam. Uh, now go on his iron on the T bolt. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Did he go for D bolt? Oh, shift gear, okay. Um, I can see him going for T bolt here like a try hard, but he doesn't, okay. So Blunder can go for um, recover here, hoping he doesn't get para. The ice beam's trying to catch him. Um, but I can go for Haze here, or try to Skull Burn. And there's another para. this game is so stupid. Okay, dude. And another para. okay, fuck. So Blunder has to, I uh, hope that he goes, f okay, okay. Uh, he has to get, get this plate correct, but I think he's gonna go for Ice Beam here. Okay, he doesn't, okay. I thought he would go for Ice Beam, they're trying to predict Blunder to stay in. And he t again, expecting to switch back to Pegs. I think now he's gonna ice him, trying to catch the Zygarde. Eventually he's gonna do it, now he just keeps t building, okay. I mean, as long as I can store the old BP, I don't think it matters at this point, but because his team is already so low, and, like, we... But he lost three months, that's what I'm trying to say. 
But I'm like, man, Bond is a goat. Like, he's kind of playing him, but he gets paralyzed, so it doesn't matter. So, like, why even try? Good God. Bond is mad. He says great games. And he finally catches him on a Zygar with an Ice Beam, and yeah. But Jenna just wins against T Bolt on the other two months that are left, and yeah, stupid game. I don't know if Runner's gonna upload the series, but at the point when I up. Like, I don't know. Like, mine's gonna go up a bit later, like, way later than, than what. Then when the game happened, because I'm gonna catch some sleep now, I'm gonna upload this tomorrow. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, quite disappointing. But yeah, still congratulations uh, to Georgie for making next round. But yeah, I would have loved to see Blonde in the next round. Um, I'm gonna try to catch Sijuma with Vertex live, and I have a lot of Snake Draft games coming, like I said, like around 10 or 12 games, maybe even more, I didn't even count them, there were so many games. Um, that's also my, vo my voice is kind of dead because I've been recording non-stop. And yeah, thank you for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoy our live ulti coverage. And Dokwich is signing out. And yeah, well, Georgie is going to be in round 4, loses bracket and Blunders out of ulti, unfortunate. Peace out, friends.